Now then, back out in the English Lake District, in the Buttermere area. Um, I'm out for a wild camp, bit of a last minute thing. So initially I was going to go up to uh, probably Dale Head or Brandreuf, Green Gable, that sort of area. I had this place in mind, I thought, <clears throat> nice and easy, not too much of a walk, it's less than a thousand feet. I won't say which one it is, but it's going to be obvious. Hoping nobody will be there. It's rammed everywhere else in the lakes, ridiculously so. It's Monday though, so uh, should be okay. But anyway, I'll crack on and I'll come back to you once I get a bit further up. Okay, I've just got to the, the bottom of this uh, buttress, we'll call it. Um, looks like a tiny, easy scramble, really. Yeah, absolute piece of cake, just straight up the middle. Very, very simple. Right, I'm not sure if I'm actually on the summit yet. Amazing views. check that out so um, I'm going to look at the map I'm going to look for the summit and I'm going to look for a place to put the tent but uh, that does seem quite obvious there so I'm going to go for, for this here it's reasonably flat and it's definitely got the best view I would say down to uh, Buttermere and uh, Haystacks etc and uh, Crummet Water and I think that's Melbrick. Thought I'd just have a look at the edge. Not too bad, it's not exactly a massive drop. Um, anyway, I'm just going to hang around for a bit because there's still people coming up. <clears throat> it's only 20 to 6, this is very early for me. Um, so I might as well just have a little wander around, just in case I see anything else. Right, I've got the tent set up. Seen quite a few people walking past, six o'clock, way too early for me, but all being really nice, people stopping and having a chat. Yeah, there's never any problem with people when they're out hiking, generally. I've not had one. So anyway, yeah, um, the bar is open. Not get everything set up yet, but yeah, a couple of drinks and some food. Being posh with a, a boobs platter. Bit of red wine. Uh, a farmyard chaff, never had that before. ICAT DDH dipper, can't say that, don't know how to say it, but it's lovely. Um, and then a little nightcap, Balveni. And some goat's cheese. Nice food, happy days. Ah, so yeah, just gonna take it all in. Enjoy this food, have a couple of drinks, and uh, I'll come back to you. If there's anything interesting to show you, like a sunset, for example, although having said that, I'm not even sure if I can get one here. I'll have to suss it out. West's over there, so um, I think we can rule that out, but you never know, we might get some nice, uh, Colour in the sky anyway, and with the clouds as well. Fingers crossed. Start off with a chaff. It's got um, one of them great taste awards and it's got two stars, so expecting good things. Smells amazing. Delicious. Mango, peach, grapefruit. And I haven't read that. And I haven't read that by the way. Let's see what it actually says. Oops. Tropical and citrus. So there you go. I said mango, 
and grapefruit. That counts as tropical and citrus, doesn't it? Pairs well with beach balls and the smell of sun cream. Well, I don't have any sun cream. It's all gone now. I don't have a beach ball either, obviously, do I? Right, second beer of the evening. The Salt Icat. 8%. So, uh, I need to sip this one. Yeah, really nice and really similar to the last one. But you can tell it's 8%, just a tiny little bit harsher. But cheers anyway. Yeah, the views up here are absolutely staggering. It helps when you've got weather like this, obviously. But uh, for my money, are they as good as the views from Fleetwood Pike? Different perspective, but it's easy to forget these things, isn't it? But because I do remember the views from there being pretty astounding as well, especially for me um, towards Pillar. Everybody would show you the view straight down the nose to bottom here and Crummet, wouldn't they? But yeah, I like looking at mountains to be honest. Be interesting to see what this looks like here, this ridge when it gets darker later. If it's clear, it should be. Nicely silhouetted. I'm just looking at Bleabury Tarn over there. Well, I can't see it, but it's in that, that little bowl, isn't it? I'm aware of that. And I'm just wondering why, why would you camp in that? It must feel a bit grim and cold. I mean, you're not gonna get any of that, are you? Surely a better view. I guess you'd camp in there if perhaps you were doing this big route. I think the route goes up along the ridge, over Haystacks, over to Fleetwood Pike and back round. Um, quite a big circular. But yeah, tan camps, uh, they're all right, but that one doesn't seem particularly good. <laughs> Two lads just pitched up there um, who came up after me in, I think they're both in OEX Fox ones. So uh, yeah, I'll have to go have, have a walk up there, touch the summit. YouTube, that's all. Ah, uh, no worries. So anyway, here we go. What's your names? Uh, Ollie and John. Ollie and John, nice to meet you, Ollie and John. Thank oh, it's not straight, that's fine. <laughs> it depends if you keep walking. I think if you went another 20, 20 yeah. You'd, you'd stop. Um, At the bottom. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Right, anyway. <laughs> Bagged. Right, have a good night, lads. Yeah, uh, I might wander back up um, to this sunset. Yeah, yeah. hopefully it's going to like it hit the uh, the bottom there, so it's going to be like yeah. in the middle of the two. Yeah. I hope you don't mind you being on this, by the way. No, no. I mean, no, I can no, edit, edit you out. No worries. Don't worry, I've only got 250 subscribers, so, you, you know, chances of anybody <laughs> seeing you. Uh, dab outdoors, DAB outdoors. <laughs> cool, right? Embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> nice guys into the photography. Seem to think there might be a chance of seeing the uh, Milky Way tonight. That'd be good, wouldn't it? So, yeah, if you go uh, up to the summit, you've got a really decent view of Lowswater as well and uh, the Solway. Firth, Scotland, and it's quite a nice pitch actually, a really big flat piece of grass. I'm happy with what I've got though, more than happy.
Well, just having a long chat there with a, a fellow runner, a local guy, Kewen. Absolutely top lad. Lovely to meet you, mate. Yeah, we're just saying actually how he's he's out running every single night. Does about 60 miles per week. And he said it's the best place in the world. Absolutely loves it. Like I said, he's local. Um, yeah, imagine having this on your doorstep. I can only dream of doing that. I nearly got made redundant actually a few weeks ago and um, obviously that wouldn't have been good but you know immediately started to think about the possibility of having a bit of time on my hands potentially um, and I'm pretty sure I know what I'd have been doing I'd have been coming up here kind of had in mind doing a six month solid stint just doing as much as possible I mean you should be able to do it all in six months shouldn't you but yeah Life's too short, so sun's just about to set, probably another 10 minutes fully. Uh, definitely looks brighter on this camera than it actually is. So yeah, um, I think I'm just going to go get in the tent and have a proper good chill out. Got some stuff to watch on YouTube, um, Black Crag doing the Cumbria way at the moment. So I think we've got his second episode downloaded. Aye, right. so in the tent, cause is on. Unless the sky's clear, can't really see that I'll be getting back out. So yes, time to go relax. Right, ready for bed. I am feeling super, super relaxed and I'm going to sleep very, very well tonight. No wind whatsoever. Just a, just a beautiful background noise of the Lake District. Time to get my head down. I'll see you in the morning. Night. Seen quite a few people come up this morning. All very jolly, out for a nice uh, ramble. Um, and as I said before, most people really aren't that bothered about your presence if you're clearly being respectful of the environment. Only me. Obviously no fires, no rubbish, everything's tidy, no noise. Yeah, most people just generally want to stop and have a chat with you and... Uh, they're usually in quite good spirits anyway, because they're here. So it's uh, it's very rare you meet anyone who's miserable. Aye, right, but um, I'll get packed up anyway. I'll just have a quick coffee, because uh, why would you want to rush from a place like this? As always, leave no trace. So it's the 1st of August today. Hopefully, hopefully, we get a lot more weather like I've had in the last few days because this summer's been dreadful, really. I think the spring was as well. Um, yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit of cold and a bit of rain and a bit of wind, but. You've got to enjoy summer, haven't you? And it comes and goes far too quickly, so... Oof, bloody midges. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed. Get out and have a load of good trips, but... I don't want to talk about autumn and winter yet, but... All, all seasons are great to camp in. They've all got their own pros and cons. 
Aye. Right, so that's me. Just a small little walk down into the village of Butmere. Coffee and bacon sandwich awaits, I think. That'd be nice. Not far to go now. So yeah, absolutely cracking spot that. Very, very easy to get to. 4G signal at the top. I wasn't going to say where it is, but it's obvious. Um, and I've noticed that most people who've done a YouTube video have named it. So, Ranadale Knots. Um, yeah, a good beginner place. Or again, for anyone, if like me, you had very tired legs and just want a nice chilled one. Yeah, perfect. Beautiful views all around. It does help when you've got weather like this, obviously. But yeah, highly recommend it. Uh, somewhere I'd definitely come back to as well.